Hey guys, what's up? Abbeforth here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to bake your material ID map using Maya, right? So here I have a small modular, modular sci-fi panel with me and I'm going to be showing you how to get your color ID map directly using Maya, right? Now this is my high poly here and this is my low poly, right? I'm going to bring up my UV editor. You can see my low poly has UVs, right? Set in zero to one space. This is necessary that your polys, I mean your UVs are set in zero to one space, right? So let me hide this for now. I'm gonna bring up my high poly. Now you can see my hypo shade here. I have already set up several colored materials, right? So I can assign it to different parts of my model right so let's start with that I'm gonna assign these pieces uh, red color I'm gonna assign these ones um, blue color so similarly I'll assign different colors to pieces that I want to be colored differently this, this, uh, let's keep all of them the same color. Uh, blue. Right? And then you see I have these little screws here, so I'm not going to select them one by one. So let's select the entire thing and then we'll G select these. Uh, that's a lot of selecting and deselecting there. Okay, there. I think I probably have all of them selected. I'm gonna assign them this pink color. Right? And you go to object mode, you see that I've assigned colors to all the faces of my high poly here. And my low poly, I'm gonna hide this. And my low poly here has UVs in 0 to 1 space. Okay? So now for baking, I'll shift the menus to rendering and then I'll go to lighting and shading and then we'll go to transfer maps, right? I'm gonna make my high poly visible and I currently have my high poly selected so I'm gonna put that in my, I'm gonna clear everything first. I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna put my high poly in my source mesh right and I'm gonna put my low poly in my target mesh okay I'm gonna select diffuse color right only one let's remove these first okay I'm gonna select the diffuse map I'm gonna set a location for them desktop I'm gonna use a PNG file test and yeah, I think we're all set up and let's bake. So it's gonna take some time. Okay, I didn't change my sampling settings here. So I'm gonna escape to cancel this. I actually had my sampling set to high right there. I'm gonna set that to low and then I'm gonna bake again. Right? So it's gonna take just few seconds and there it is baked now I'm gonna bring up the baked color map here right so you can see that we have the baked color map here now you can see there are some problems here and you can fix these in Photoshop and I don't think they'll be creating a lot of problems let me hide this for a while I close this out let me hide my high poly and I'm gonna move the hypo shade out of the way and the low poly I'm gonna hit go to shaded mode and there we have our maps transferred but you don't see the screws because I don't have them on the low poly the screw information will be useful when I texture this model right so I'm gonna bring up the UV editor once again 
Let's select these. You can see that the map has been baked correctly. There are some problems here, but you can fix them easily inside Photoshop, right? So this is how you can bake ID maps inside of Maya. And similarly, you can bake them inside of 3ds Max. There isn't transfer maps in 3ds Max. I don't know what is the tool that they use for baking it, but I know that it can be baked. So if you want, then do look it up. And thanks for watching.